Uh, yeah, the the for for a good old while there, I wasn't uh, wasn't a member of a clan, but in the end, the uh, the bards convinced me to to hang with them. So, well, I was... the thing with GOA is that so long as you're willing to sort of hang with uh, with your friends and and. Uh, talk to people that there, there's always going to be a, a, a crew kicking about that's that's interested in flying with you so yeah i was uh in the clan before the kick not sure which one because i was there for three days and it was a pretty new clan one of those short-lived clans that that showed up and ballooned in population mm, maybe and they are again. maybe they are prosperous but i'm not sure i don't remember their name but Alright, so the first ship is Surprise, piloted by Finx. It's a Spire with Watch a Minute. Oh, oh, double Gatling and a. Uh, that's a mortar, okay. And the next one is Dragon's Rage, piloted by Xedion. Uh, it's a goldfish with Watch a Carronade and a gold. Yeah, Gatling gun. Alright, go ahead. And for Rawr, we have the Congenital Optimist. It is a goldfish piloted by DJ Molly. Left side Artemis. Front Watcher. Right side Gatling Gun. And we have the KG's Ophelia. It is a Pyramidian. It is piloted by Sachmo. It has a top right Gatling Gun, a top left Banshee, a lower deck Banshee, and a poop deck Mercury. Not sure that the poop deck gun is going to see much use here. I strongly suspect that Artemis is probably not going to be doing too much, although maybe they'll be trying to disable uh, guns on the Spire, that the heavy gun in particular, if the Watcher doesn't quite knock everything out. Indeed. Uh, we have uh, Ophelia and Congenital Optimist uh, hiding around in the um, eastern portion of the map over to, towards... Uh, well, where that engagement last week between the Brotherhood and uh, was it uh, was it Riders took place? Um, I'm not sure. I think yeah. In any case, they're sort of hanging out here. This so uh, this does provide them with the ability to have all of their guns facing forward. And the question is, what uh, what does that buy them? Because the the front facing firepower on the spire and the um, the goldfish there is going to be greater than what's uh, what's kicking about on the pyramidian and the, uh, the the goldfish, so they they can't uh, can't outshoot their enemy. On the other hand, if they do come round this corner here, they may be able to ambush them, where they is the riders popping around the corner and the yeah. other they is the uh, the Ra team. This will be fun if no one will find themselves. Like if uh, they won't find find each other until twenty minutes. No, oh, this so the riders have um, pootled off to the other side of the map. They're sort of making an, an effort to search the canyons, but they're yeah, they're not covering all of it. Maybe the uh, the Ophelia and the um, uh, the congenital are waiting until they see the. Um, the enemy ships in front of them and then are going for a guaranteed ambush from the side in, in the hopes that uh, neither of these two ships think to search in this area. Yeah. If any uh, any of their crew member is listening to this uh, stream, we won't like uh, uncover their position, we won't tell the, their position, but if they see this, well, they will well, have I, the idea. I, my understanding, Kaj, is you're not supposed to listen to the stream while you're flying for, for exactly that reason. Yeah, but some people are, are doing it, like, just listen to them because it's uh, like five minutes, well, five minutes, three, two minutes uh, behind, so it's not like real time, but still it's like, well, under this circumstance it's a bit helpful. Uh, I see. Well, if you are being a naughty, uh, naughty chap or a chap ass, well, then um, you'll probably be able to infer if you're a regular watcher of the SCS where your enemy is. In which case, naughty, naughty folks. They are still uh, trying to search for each other. This is interesting. 
Well, maybe, maybe KG's Ophelia will see one of them. Up oh, there it is, a spot. Fantastic. Who knows where who is? Our uh, Ophelia is spotted by Dragon's Rage. That's going to result in a lot of disables, but they're a wee bit ahead of um, their ally there. Indeed, nice armor break right there from the ram of Optimus. Oh, Optimus is not looking great today. Ooh, well that Ouch. was a quick death right there. Losing armor on losing their hull. In just matter of so to make a topical seconds. reference, the uh, the goldfish there discovered the uh, firepower of this armed and fully operational spire. Although it may be about to stop being armed and fully operational if this. Yeah, it's next. interesting how he's facing the wall there. Okay then. <laughs> Something tells me that was not part of Finx's plan. I Did believe. From the dragon's range, though. Dragon's range now against KG's Ophelia. KG's Ophelia losing armor. N not much damage to their hull, but from the Gatling gun, it's all expected. Oh, there it is. A bit of a watch it there. Still trying to get out of their arcs. Oh, who's shooting? Congenital Optimist is trying to support their teammate. Yeah, so the Dragon's range may have lingered a little bit here too long, depending on if the Congenital Optimist can get a, a ram in. That's their balloon taking a lot of damage. I'm not going to be able to change their vertical position, but they are likely to flee as fast as they can. Now the surprise is coming in on the flank. The uh, goldfish almost certainly knows where they are. Can they get into hard cover and kill Dragon's Rage before the spire comes in? This might end up meat grinding if uh, if they can kill the uh, the Dragon's Rage quickly enough here. Yep, Dragon's Rage losing armor, it's quickly repairing it. Come on. They did, but lost their armor again and are losing their hull pretty quickly. Oh, they managed to repair it back, but nope. And now the surprise is... Its position is known. It's got two ships that are almost certainly going to turn around and engage it, and it's probably going to eat a face full of Watcher. Indeed. Now, well, surprise is going for a surprise, too, against one ship. And it's a Spire, so... Mm, nope. Well, that's that's the thing. They they knew they weren't going to be able to get out of there, so they're trying to get a kill. Um, it well, doesn't they... look like they're going to manage it, though. I think the uh, Ophelia and the uh, Optimist are going to just finish them off here. Yep, yep. Down it goes. All right. So one three in favor of blue team, which is raw. Uh, yes, I think the um, the congenital. No, sorry, the. Uh, uh, the red team's goldfish there, just perhaps spending a little bit too much time trying to kill the Ophelia. Um, wasn't able to get out, ended in a 2v1 situation, which then dragged their ally spiring, which also ended in a 2v1 situation. So maybe not ideal, uh, ideal. Um, maybe a little over aggressive is what I'm trying to say there from, uh, from the riders. Well, they need to come. Uh, come with uh, better tactics here. So let's see. So the um, Ophelia is at about sixty percent of its perma hole, uh, which means that, you know, given that it's a Pyramidian and doesn't have much perma anyway, um, it might end up being the priority target here, especially when you consider that the uh, Spire will have probably a pretty easy time bringing its armor down if they can get their guns on it. Um, two Certainly. Two guns will make short work of a, a Pyrus, uh, Pyrus armor. Ah, this is interesting. The riders are going to see if the... Um, uh, Raw have set up in the same location as they did before, this time approaching with a more open start, meaning they'd have more guns and position. Looks like Dragon's Rage is uh, leading the surprise a wee bit there, which makes a certain amount of sense. The surprise needs the Rage to get spots and then um, set up for its attack run. Yep.
No. Oh god. Hmm. Okay, now the Ophelia and Congenital Optimist have set up close to the Rider Spawn, but um, pretty far away from any immediate combat. So they're, they're definitely playing this as uh, ambush predators here. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... A little real-life update. Uh, my cat is doing weird things. He's trying to your... knock down my com microphone. God damn it! Your cat is doing weird things. But well, th this is the thing: cats will do whatever they want. You you don't have the option of telling a cat what to do. It just it it just is and will do, and you have to live with it. Cat. I mean, you you knew this when you when you got a cat. So. Oh yeah. Oh, I think the ambusher has become the ambushy here with KG's Ophelia eating some watcher. Uh, from Dragon's Rage, and now the surprise coming in. It might be able to drop into cover here, which it probably wants to do, given the amount of guns pointing at it. Indeed, now Dragon's Rage attacking the congenital optimist here. That's going to do a number on the congenital optimist. Oh, both of them are going good. after him. They should go after Ophelia, I, in my opinion. Well, the reason I think they're going after the Optimus was that uh, Dragon Rage was able to get um, the balloon down um, on it by uh, by that ram, which meant that its vertical mobility was limited, which meant getting Gunox and Surprise was going to be a problem. So what the Dragon's Rage there, I think, was doing was buying his ally enough time to get the Gunox and the Pyramidian, which is now completely destroyed. And I now see. they can double-team the Congenital Optimist. Which also goes down. Yep. Alright, so it's a tie now. Yep, three apiece. That went uh, more to the, the rider's favor there. I think they'll be happy with how that turned out. Um, not sure about this position for an ambush. It's it. If your, your enemy comes in from the direction they have there and you're forced to duck down as the Pyramidian was, your guns are no longer able to effectively engage most of the ships that are going to be coming in. It does limit the Spire's ability to engage, but um, I'm not sure it worked in, uh, in Rara's favor there. Alright, so both of the blue team is spawned. All ships are spawned, and let's see if they... We'll search for five minutes again. So what kind of cat are we talking here? Uh, if, if I knew it in English, the name of the cat, like the type of the cat, well, well. Does it look like a little tiger? Appen, well, no. It's black and white. Ah, okay. I guess it's a normal house cat. Well, I'll just go with black and white cat in that case. Indeed. I I'm assuming it's also adorable, because all cats are adorable. Oh, he is about a year old. Okay, so the Rara team are still on their spawn, and the riders have managed to set up for a flank here. The Dragon's Rage is... Spotted and out in the open, they they want them to know where they are. The Ophelia has guns pointing towards where it, it probably suspects the spire is coming from. Oh, but no, that's it was a good effort from the Ophelia, but I think it's about to eat all of the enemy guns here. They yeah. managed to get their armor back up, but the surprise is going to have a, a watcher for them again in a second. This is this may be delaying delaying the inevitable. Yep down they go and now the dragon's rage is on its own facing the congenital optimist surprise had to burn the crap out of their balloon there to get uh, get out of two but they've now popped it so that they can descend Ooh. getting their balloon back online there may not have been uh, completely in their interest they probably wanted to get a little bit lower to have a few more guns on the congenital optimist but it may well not make a difference in this instance 
Yeah, so now congenital optimist two against one. Ramming into a wall there and boom, there it is, the final kill. Indeed, a victory for the riders. Yep. So there's a interesting question from Mighty Kebab. What is the cat's loadout and who is who is it piloted by? Oh, the the cat's loadout. That's an excellent question. What kind of gun would you mount on the back of a cat? Oh my. Hmm. Let's see. 